Igor Mihalovich, when I was watching the precedent video. I paid attention and this phrase even hooked me when you spoke about the spiral of silence and said that this spiral, their spiral, has already cracked. I somehow gained a completely new understanding of the spiral of silence, of this phenomenon in general. I mean, what is its essence? That people are afraid to express their opinion if it differs from the opinion of the majority. That is, they have this very fear of isolation. Why else has this point become interesting to me? What the spiral is in its true meaning? And the spiral movement, on which everything is based in general, is very well described in the book Alatra. That's right, yes. Yes, and there is a spiral that unwinds, a creative spiral by which the entire universe exists, which unwinds from the inside outwards. And this spiral is the priority of spiritual forces in society, the development of spiritual forces. Meanwhile, there is a spiral that spins from the outside inwards. So is it this very spiral that has cracked and it turns out… Absolutely. Absolutely right. In other words, the aggression that purposefully comes from the system itself is cracking due to weakening of the system. Why? Because there emerge more and more spiritually free people who tell the truth, who stop being afraid, who make a step and reduce, so to say, the investment of attention in feeding the system itself, just like that. For nothing. After all, we feed the system literally with every emotion. Let's say, when it wants to eat, it comes to us, like to a supermarket, and chooses what to eat, making us nervous, afraid, frightened, causing all sorts of emotions, worries and the like. But when a person develops spiritually, he becomes free. He sees and understands any substitution that enters through his consciousness, what the system itself wants from him. In this case, when a person figures this out and understands, he simply stops feeding the system. So, I understand that this sounds kind of fictional to people who are not familiar with the subject, but in fact, that's the way it occurs. I would like to ask people a question, why? Because we've just said it this way, or rather, I have said it, and it sounds like fiction. But guys, have you ever wondered why you get emotional? From the perspective of psychology, yes, a situation arises and you produce some kind of an outburst of emotions and so forth. But let's take a simple example. In the middle of the night, out of the blue, you wake up with pronounced emotions. You haven't even had a dream, but the emotion is there. A thought emerges that tortures you until the morning. What for? Is this what you want? If you are the master of your consciousness, then why don't you stop this? When you have dreams, and as a rule, dreams are always with material bias, fear and emotions, question, why don't you resist that? Why don't you create beautiful dreams for yourselves? Where you're resting on a lawn, you're happy, and there are no material accents of that kind, fears and everything else. You're actually the master. Thus, if someone manipulates you, it means someone benefits from that. And what can they take from you? Money? is not interesting. What's next? Well, we are physicians, we can talk about tests too, but they are not interesting for the system either. The system doesn't need anything other than your attention and your emotions. Therefore, fiction becomes reality, and the more free people there are who control their attention, let's say, who control the expenditure of attention on material needs, the less the system itself receives. And the faster this very spiral launched by the system cracks. Everything is very simple. There is a very important point that a small number of people, yet ones who manifest themselves very actively, can change the situation completely. Moreover, from any side, yes, exactly. it doesn't matter which one. Even if they are spiritually free, but well-organized people, and by conducting an active, let's say, persistent propaganda, they begin to cause a crazy loss to the system itself and give people hope for recovery in the spiritual aspect, isn't that so? It is. It is. However, in exactly the same way, people who are controlled by the system can, on the contrary, provoke a mass of extremely negative emotions, make people afraid and so on, again, simply by stirring up fears and forcing people to worry about their future and to feed the system perfectly well. Isn't this true? 
but everything depends on people's choice, of which side they are on, on the side of the devil or the side of God. Everything is very simple. Well, it's not quite medical, we use religious terms, but it's true. Thank you. You're welcome.